The history of Smithville is a fascinating one. Uh, there was a prior book written by Bill Bolger on Smithville, but it was mostly words, history, um, but this was mostly photographs, the collection of the park system, uh, FOMUS of Friends of the Mansion in Smithville, and some outside sources that, have, that are collected from local historians. Uh, a chapter on Hezekiah Smith and his family, a chapter on the mansion, uh, the factory, uh, some of Smith's inventions, uh, certainly the bicycle railroad, all of those things come into place when you talk about Smithville and the background as an industrial park. My passion for putting this together was because I was a photographer at the Burning County Times for 38 years. I have a degree in photojournalism and of course uh, historical photographs are something that I love to look, look at and research. I, as I think most people do that want to know the history of a place. Photographs tell you a lot about where things were located, how people dressed, uh, how people reacted. Uh, just page through any book and you'll see uh, what the place looked like. And, and Smithville, uh, for most part, has remained the same. The workers' houses are here, the factory, even though it's somewhat in ruins, is still here, the mansion. Um, just a fascinating place to look through. And I got excited about seeing what the park system had in its collection. Well, I certainly learned about the people that lived here. Uh, very diverse group, uh, different backgrounds, um, how Smith and his family treated the workers, which was really very different than most industrial villages. Um, certainly the fact that he was grouped together or brought together uh, a, big, a wide assortment of inventors. Um, over 60 patents were held by him alone, by Hezekiah Smith alone. Uh, the people that worked for him held over 40 patents, including uh, outside inventors that came to him to manufacture the bicycle railroad and uh, the Star Bicycle. Well, I certainly love the picture of uh, the village back in the 1860s. Probably then it was Shreveville. Uh, somebody I contacted, uh, Richard Mann, uh, it's a family photograph showing his ancestors uh, going down the street uh, for a wedding, I think it was, uh, with the brick buildings in the background. It really gave a sense and a depth to the village that most people uh, were unaware of because those buildings don't exist anymore. So it was fascinating to me to see that photograph. Well, I love the picture of uh, Abraham Lincoln's grandson with a star bicycle. Apparently he was uh, quite a fanatic about high wheel bicycles and being a, sh a young person, he was unable to reach the wheels on the normal ordinary bicycle, but a star bicycle allowed him to reach the uh, fulcrum pedals uh, much better than he could the other bicycles. And he was apparently a, a well-known disturber of the peace uh, riding his bicycle around the area. Uh, thanks to the Vernon County Board for this recognition. Uh, it's nice to be awarded to do for something you love. I sure appreciate that. Uh, it was a labor of love and uh, thanks to the park system for all their help.